Nico's Rentas here, mentorsapproach.com. Today's video all about marriages and how do I get married? I want to get married, but the guy I'm with doesn't want to propose. Or the girl I'm with, she doesn't want to be locked down yet. How do I deal with that? Here we go. Hi, Nico's. Thank you for posting all this information. Your responses are great. Well, thank you. I am having some trouble figuring out my life. I am a mom of a two-year-old baby boy. I have not worked since I had him. His father and I have lived together for over six years in a steady relationship that has had its ups and downs. When people tell me we're having our ups and we've had our ups and downs, that generally means we're having a lot of downs. We need help to get it back up, but the effort's not there. That's what that tells me. When I became pregnant, I fought with him over getting married. He kept saying that we will be, uh, we will, but now is not the time. My family and friends thinks it's, it is odd and he's still avoiding it. Sorry. My family and friends think it is odd and he is still avoiding it. Last several weeks, I fought with him over the issues and he turned to leave for good. That's, wow, over when I get married. He took off to his mother's house for three days and came back like nothing had happened. Well, that explains it. He cried and left and went home since you didn't cuddle him and say, oh, it's okay, Billy. And he went to his mom and his mom was like, oh, it's okay, Billy. And then he stayed there for three days, chilled out while you were sitting there panic mode going, is he ever going to come back? Great. That's, that's great. Um, what can I do to get him to marry me? I, that's, is it even possible? This is causing lots of depression on me, and I feel like I'm back to where I started with my postpartum depression. Okay, so here is what I'm reading. What I'm reading is you had postpartum depression. It went away. Then once it, or not went away, but it decreased significantly to the point where things were going great. And then you looked at yourself and went, I deserve to be married. And then when you, when you started coming out with that, it went... Pfft in his head and he took off and went to his mom to cry. Um, that right there is what I'm reading out of this. You have a two year old baby boy and you haven't worked. So is he providing all the money for you guys? Is that like the, the kind of, or were you working before and you're waiting to go back, but because of the postpartum depression, you didn't go back. The questions always have to be around what is good for you and your baby. That is the, 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 the question that has to be answered each and every time you do anything that has to do with life changes. Right now, currently, you're fighting with somebody that you're living with that you love, but he is scared to commit. Many questions come around that. Uh, can, can I get him to, uh, what can I do to get him to marry me? There's many things you can do. You can try a lot of things. Heck, throw in manipulation tactics, but why waste your time? Okay, this guy has been with you for six years and he has not wanted to get married. There's something holding him back. Now, if I asked you like an hour's worth of questions, I guarantee you, you would give me scenarios more just like this where he took off for three days. And now he's got a kid and he leaves his wife, or his girlfriend or his uh, living son's mother and... He's like, hey, boom, see you later. Don't have time for this. You you want to get married? Poof, I got other things to do. Do you even know 100% that he was at his mom's for three days? I don't know. These are the questions I'd be asking you to see how much trust you have with this person. You know, and, and, and how are you feeling around it? And what do you want to be doing with your life? Do you want to find that awesome guy who has... You know, all intentions of marrying you, has a job, wants to see you succeed, wants to see you work, wants to see your son have a great life, wants to show that he is there for you. Do you want to be in love with somebody like that? Or do you want to be in love with somebody who's taken six years to decide not to marry you? Okay, the question comes down to what's good for you and your child. Your child's going to be growing up through this. And, and also, you know, at two years old, he's already seeing a lot of stuff. By five years old, he's going to be seeing how a relationship actually interacts with his parents. And he thinks it's going to be this normal. And as he gets into grade 10, 11, 12, and he's starting his own relationships, this will be normal for him. He will not want to get married either. He's going to go through and he's going to be seeing all the fights you guys do, all the different things that exist. And you're going to be sitting there going, where did I go wrong down the road? Um, I'm not happy at all. 
And, and that's the bottom line. You need to find what defines your happiness. Once you can write those things down and say to yourself, I'm going to go find that, then you'll be able to take that risk of going, I'm going to get a, a separation here. I'm going to separate from the situation. I'm going to go get my own place. I'm going to go get a job. I'm going to go back to work. I'm going to work to take care of my son. And I'm going to raise my son to be that great person for a girl down the future. That should be your goal right now. And in and, and is shaping up your life because once you start doing that what will happen is more people will be attractive to this life that you're building and you will find somebody who is happy who's got a job or career who has maybe a kid or not have a kid who wants to find the same kind of thing as you're looking for who wants marriage that's a, a general understanding of how i see your situation and if, if it was you know if, if it was up to me i'd start by saying to myself what is good for me? What makes me happy? What do I need to see in my life? And will this person ever do it for me? F patterns repeat themselves. This is exactly what I see a lot of times where people are with somebody for the wrong reasons for the longest time. I mean, I've been there, you know, friends I've had, family, you name. I know many people who have been in the same situation as you and I bet you do too. So the goal is, how do I get what I want so it can be happy for me? And, you know, you know, you say, even if it's possible, it might be. And I mean, you can give it a timeline to try, but the timeline should be there so you know not to be wasting more than six years. Because all of a sudden it's going to turn to 10, and then 15, and then 20, and all of a sudden you're 50 years old and you go... Yeah, my life, my love life really sucked when you could be, you know, in a year just like that, you could be with somebody else that makes you happy, you know, six months or two years or five years, but you're going to be with somebody who loves you. Okay. And that's the bottom line. And then your, your, your child will grow up in a loving relationship and know what love truly is so they can go out in the world when they turn into an adult and find somebody they can be in love with and have that same love instead of seeing that you know this occurrence and the fighting and all the different things that are happening now and seeing that as normal so take some time anybody out to have a similar situation or any kind of problems and you'd like to have a one hour consultation with me uh, please visit mentorsapproach.com and book an appointment and we'll walk through the situations and, and, and do a proper analysis of what's going on and how we can help you to move forward and reach that goal to reach the goals and the objective you have in your life again my name is nicholas rentas mentorsapproach.com thank you